Hello YouTube viewers, it is Head of Miss Dragon coming at you with this video. Now, just to, just for clear out, I'd like to say I am not a poet, nor am I a rapper, but I do like to speak out my voice and my opinions, and I'm not going to, I'm just to let you guys know, I'm not attacking anybody, so what's going to happen in this video will not go attacking anybody else, okay? So don't come back at me with these trolling comments saying, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Don't come at me with that crap. I am not attacking nobody. I am not attacking anything. I'm just wasting out my words because I feel like it's deep down inside my heart and I need to get it out just as much as you guys need to get out your words. So please, let me speak my words and understand what I'm saying and not just hear everything that you don't want to hear okay so I'm going to try to attempt today my first time doing a long poetry but not it's not long it's actually depending on how I feel to be honest but it's a poetry that you guys need to hear and some people who are just like me who are mixed race who have been bullied who had a disability of speech pattern disability and understand what you need to think about to overcome it and also how to make your dreams happen so let's go ahead and go into that video right now. It's dead. This is a poem, or at least words coming from Jeremy. What it means to be me. That's what it's called. Instead of you guys seeing me as a certain type of category for an ethnicity that you guys don't even know about me or my even my history, instead of you considering, oh, because of my face, do you think that might be some type of trace that make me understand what you think because of just why I look at my face? What I want you guys to do is not put me in a category, especially when you don't know that much about me. Because this is something about Jeremy that you guys don't understand, especially what you guys don't see. Especially if you try to look back at my history and what is it going to be. You guys try to put me around somebody that you guys think you just found, that you understand what it is profound inside my mind. It's not sound. Have you ever asked, am I okay with it? Do you think I would be part of it? Do you think I'd be okay with it? Did you guys put me in a category and even ask me if I was okay with it? But you didn't. Because you know why? Because you went around and told everybody in town what you think you saw with me was what you found. You saw a, a black person, maybe an Indian person, but you never asked if I was okay, if I was certain. And asked if it was okay to just tell him, oh, this dude is a black person. No, he's not. Can you please look at him and ask him before you start saying some things that's going to get you into a bad room for people that you don't want to be. Especially like my family, especially like my dad or my mother, now, it doesn't matter because it all depends on me. Now every day I always understand people always walking right by and see me in a different face and different light and they understand what my taste is and people understand one thing, who am I to be, who am I to them. But I always think to myself, what is it that you guys don't understand? That I'm just a man, a mixed Native American, mixed with African, mixed with European, and also Hispanic. What the heck is it supposed to be? It's been me saying, heck, what the heck? <sighs> just because I'm part black that you guys can just say it's all of me. Well, it's not. It's part of me. And don't try to say about that one drop rule because I guarantee if you look back in history, you're going to actually see that the one drop rule was dropped long ago, way before President Barack Obama ended his service of being a president of our United States of America in 2017. But I still consider that part of me. You have to understand, I'm a man with different types of plans, especially with God's ideas he has for me and stored in his hand. You guys got to understand, this is how Jeremy has to be. You cannot put me in a category and expect me to be what you want me to be, what you want me to see. What you guys should see, look at everybody else's faces, and they all think I'm disgracing what has been a part of the place of my races, and the people don't understand what is part me and what is everybody else is trying to put in many different places. Here's a question. Do you really think everybody is who they say they are? Because I find it kind of bizarre, especially when people 
try to trace back the history, and they couldn't find what they're looking for because it was just too far. I don't mind being part black. I don't mind being part white or Native American, Hispanic. I'm not going to choose one of my ethnic backgrounds because that's just saying I just hate it. And I'm not saying I want to hate it. God made me mixed race and I'm also related to all these ethnic backgrounds. Even if I don't want to admit it, I got to say it. Otherwise, people are going to start thinking I'm just being ignorant and not trying to actually get involved in it. I guarantee if you put me in a room full of Native Americans, Hispanic, and Africans, and whites, I guarantee you I'm going to be right there in the middle representing all the rights, putting all that equation, putting all that persuasion, and put all of you guys into a mind where you guys get it like an Ibro, all types of equation that will make it easy for you guys to think. What is my nation? But it doesn't mean that you guys got to come at me if I say I'm Native American and said I'm, I'm African. And say so I'm Hispanic and I also part white. The people don't understand that I also am trying to figure out what is right. You guys think, oh, I'm gonna put me put me in this part, put me in this place, and put me in that spot, and you don't understand and that it's just me being a man. And you know, if you think about it, who wins? An entire country versus a man? An entire country versus God? God created the heavens and the earth. Well, he made humans from the ground that gave birth. But don't let this thing be a symbol of regret. A symbol of forget. You got to understand this is something that we all must learn, live and not forget. And we just got to make this record and we got to make it set. What I learned during my years of being bullied having a disability of speech pattern and did not let anybody else try to make that a such a matter. I always try my very best to keep my head up, praying to God and also move it forward and do not let anybody else tell me what's wrong. I go by the path of what I call Jeremy. Now you guys know what it's like to be me. Now, this may have gone dark for some people, I understand that, and this is going out to all the mixed people out there who feel like they don't have a say, like who feel like people put them in a category because, well, I'm not saying black people are not good at everything, but God made everybody the same. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it's just, all lives matter to me, okay? Because God, he made everybody. Whether everybody wanted to admit it or not, he made everybody. I'm going by what God sees. He loves us all. We're all his children. That's all I see. I don't want to see people disrespecting others because of their skin tone and stuff like that. I always love how people can gather together despite differences. I guarantee you, if you guys cut each other and you guys bleed the same color, we are the same inside. Just outside, we just have our own looks. We just have our own style, our own flair. We don't have to copy off of somebody we can like take some a little bit like and make ourselves what we are but when it goes down to nitty gritty it's all about what you like and it all depends on what you are so i hope this video is uh is very inspirational to you guys i hope you guys don't find this like offensive to anybody else and i'm trying to attack anybody obviously and i'm also not trying to um say um bad things towards any other ethnic backgrounds i'm trying to say be proud of what you're mixed with that is what god has made you to be he did not if you want to meet you a one ethnic ethnic background he would make both your parents one ethnic background but instead he made your both your parents different even though we're all different from the from from each other i mean from the inside of our hearts we're all different even in if even within different backgrounds of ethnic backgrounds we're all the same on the inside but we're also different like for instance, let's say if you have a um, um, a white father and a white mother, guess what? You guys, they're different. Even though they're white, they're still different. Now, I say this again because I feel like someone's going to be trolling. I am not trying to attack anybody. This is me speaking out words. And I got to say, me speaking out like that really feels a lot better. Like a weight off my shoulders. I really feel like I can just, like I just take a breath and not just hold in what has been holding back for years. I really don't want to hold all that stuff down. And I might actually do another video like this soon about like dreams if you guys would love to hear about that. Like like to hear 
motivational poetry, poetic words and stuff like that. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And also subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on my social media links on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And that's about it. I hope you guys have a nice time. Bye. Peace out. Yeah.